Massachusetts this evening. Authorities say that one person is dead and at least 10 others hospitalized after being exposed to a strong cleaning agent at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Burlington. Customers tell Boston Media that they smelled a strong odor, their noses started to burn, and people were coughing. The Burlington Fire Department said that a male employee was taken to the hospital and later died in the hospital. The building was evacuated and a hazmat response called in. They're still there. Crews continue to work tonight to make the building safe and try to figure out how this happened. Inside the Buffalo Wild Wings in Burlington, where tonight a tragic accident has led to the death of an employee. The cleaning agent being used on the floors caused one employee to be rushed to the hospital where he later died. Burlington Interim Fire Chief Mike Patterson recently spoke to reporters and had this to say. Uh, tonight at approximately 537, we were notified of a sick individual and a potential chemical release at Buffalo Wild Wings. Our, our crews responded, uh, ambulance Engine tower, command car responded to Buffalo Wild Wings. On arrival, uh, they found a male patient being treated by Armstrong paramedics outside the building. Uh, crews began to, to assist Armstrong paramedics in treating the victim. Uh, the victim was transported by Burlington Ambulance to the Leahy Hospital, where unfortunately uh, the patient passed away. Patterson said authorities believe a worker used a cleaning agent called Super 8, a sodium hypochlorite, which is a high concentration of chlorine, on the floor and for some as of yet unknown reason caused the hazardous material situation. Uh, we believe that the victim along with 10 other uh, individuals became sick once the product was released. Nine of the individuals self-transported themselves to Leahy Hospital, uh, where they are currently being evaluated. Uh, signs and symptoms of those patients were difficulty in breathing, uh, runny and watery eyes, and shortness of breath. Patterson said the state hazardous materials team was on scene and was performing an investigation of the restaurant and obtaining readings to determine if the threat remains. The readings that they obtained at this time are safe throughout uh, the restaurant. Police and fire will be conducting an uh, investigation, a full investigation into this matter. Uh, OSHA has been uh, notified. The name, age, hometown, and work position of the victim have not been released as of this time. Patterson did say that the condition of the other patients, two customers and eight employees, is not to believe to be serious. Finally, the interim chief stressed that anyone who was at the Burlington Buffalo Wild Wings during the incident and feels at all unwell should seek medical help immediately. So I would advise anybody that was in the establishment, employees or customers, uh, that if they have any medical condition to immediately seek medical attention. No question. From the Buffalo Wild Wings in Burlington, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford. It happened around 5.30 tonight at Buffalo Wild Wings in Burlington. Customers inside say the noxious smell came over them quickly and became stronger. The fire department was called and everyone was evacuated. Authorities say they were all exposed to a powerful cleaning agent, sodium or rather super eight or sodium hypochlorite. A male employee inside died as a result after he was rushed to the hospital. Nine customers and one other employee have since gone to other hospitals but are believed to be okay. Customers say they had no idea what was happening. There was an individual that, would, that first was prepared the floor to clean. Uh, that person immediately was exposed to the chemical and self-extricated himself out into the fresh air environment. The gentleman that passed away was an employee of Buffalo Wild Wings who attempted to squeegee the product out, out of the building. We were just sitting at the bar and kind of the smell of like ammonia and chlorine kind of came over us and a bunch of people started coughing <laughs> kind of and looked around and all of a sudden all the employees were kind of not around. It smells like bleach and so you're just thinking like oh yeah somebody's like threw some you know like was trying to clean something in the in the bar like you normally would and then it just got stronger and stronger people started leaving. 
BW3 is releasing a statement tonight, which reads in part, we are shocked and saddened to learn of this horrific accident at our franchise owned sports bar and are working closely with our franchisee while authorities conduct an investigation. Now, Hazmat has been in. They've been testing levels all night. They have actually determined that the building itself is safe, but OSHA is still expected. And for that reason alone, the fire chief here tonight saying he does not know when this restaurant may reopen, but it likely will not be tomorrow.